roughly one in every 32 Americans, are held by the justice system. The cost of a single prisoner per day is about $130. With 2.2 million people in prison across the US, that's $29 million just for one day. In one year, that number is well over $100 billion. This caused the states to hire companies to privately watch, feed, and home these prisoners for just a fraction of the price, taking a lot less of the taxpayers' money. But of course, there's a catch. These companies don't really see the prisoners as prisoners. They see them as a source of profit. As a result, private prisons look for ways to increase the amount of prisoners in each prison. This has caused a 700% increase in the number of incarcerated people in the US just in the past 40 years, even though the crime rate has stayed about the same. Even though the US is just 5% of the world's population, we still have 30% of the world's prisoners. Now how's that for land of the free? Now with these prisons wanting more and more people, overcrowding is a serious issue. Overcrowding leads to a less healthy and sanitary environment. Prisons are required to have 85 to 100% occupancy at any given time. But these for-profit prisons tend to succeed that by 20 to 30%. Not only does the overcrowding cause health issues, but it also leads to increase of violence in the prisons. The spread of these prisons across the United States and even around the world has helped the government spend taxpayers' money on other areas, such as public safety and education. On the other hand, prisoners have an average pay of 50 cents an hour. The low pay produces a lot of money for the corporations and especially a lot for the CEOs. The number one most profitable private prison system is owned by GEO Group. The CEO of this company, George Zoli, makes about $1.2 million a year just from these prisons, which nearly 60% of his income comes from our taxes. Looking back on the conditions of these prisons, they clearly violate Article 25 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, stating, Everyone has the right to a standard of living, adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing, and medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of employment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond his control. Thinking about it from the point of view of the people in charge of these prisons, yes, the number of incarcerated beings has increased and will keep many criminals off the streets. But in the long run, we are slowly making America the opposite of what it was founded for.